Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here. I am glad to be here. Which way do seeds grow first, up or down? So I had a surprise this weekend when I came into my office. My granddaughters, my fact, our whole, my, our whole family, all well, not 31 of them, 28 of the 31 of our children and grandchildren were here this weekend. I'll tell you why in just a minute. But look at the little surprise. So they'd, the girls had come in and they'd kind of drawn a picture of themselves, either a flower or a, a, a happy cloud that provides rain and sunshine, and then growing flowers. And you can see that the littlest flower is our latest grandbaby, Sloan. So they put her down here. And of course, you know, I, I thought, how cute is that? To come walking in in the morning and see this here. But it begs that question of which ways do seeds grow first? Seeds grow down first. Why? Because that's what gives them that stability. That's what allows them to grow tall and to grow strong. Well, it's the same thing in families and organizations. You've got to have those deep roots. Or what are deep roots? One example of deep roots are traditions. We have lots of traditions in our family. One of our traditions is what we call thanksmas. A separate one, which we've evolved out of thanksmas and became separate, is one we call Christ giving. In other words, we took Thanksgiving and we took Christmas and we merged them together. Why? Because what happens to most families, as their children get older, they get married, they can't decide whose house they go to or they take turns. And we just said, let's eliminate that. Keep our house open on Thanksgiving. Whoever wants to come, comes. Same thing with Christmas and New Year's. However, on the second Saturday of December, then they're going to be at our house and everybody comes together and we have features within traditions. So listen to what I'm saying. See, traditions create the roots. Traditions have to be something that everybody enjoys, especially over time. You have to be consistent. Then you can add features to it. So one of the features that we added early on to Thanksmas was to, to thanks mas, if you think of mas in Spanish, means more, was to take our hands and put them on a tablecloth. Trace those hands, and at first, when we first start doing it, we, we'd write the date and our name and then something we're grateful for, or some things that we're grateful for. And the little kids, you know, would trace their hands, we'd trace the baby's hands. Uh, this year, one of our granddaughters jumped up and we traced her foot on it. Um, but over the years, over the years, we've had grandparents, brothers and sisters, friends of family, children. Some of our grandchildren, this is, they remember this every single year. This is all they remember. In fact, our, one of our eight-year-old grandchilds, as they, children, as they came up to the door, she, she saw our house was for sale and she burst into tears by the time she got to the front door. Where are we going to have Thanksmas? Because she's had Thanksmas every year. Those are roots. And then the features just are what nurture those roots or what gives them the strength to go on. So one of the features, amongst several others, is the tablecloth, and I, and I grabbed one. This has got about three years of experience, and it was, we hang up the old ones so that everybody can see it. I don't know, I mean, uh, look, you, there's no way I can show you this. We could spend all day long, but there's hundreds, you know, over three years of boyfriends, girlfriends. In fact, you know, there's actually, <laughs> there's actually, we've got three of our family members on here that are no longer with us. And uh, what great memories, huh? What great memories. Walk up, put your hand on where they put their hand. Uh, so this has become more and more meaningful as time goes on. And it's hopefully something that will get passed on from generation to generation. The second habit, half, half of it now has evolved into what we call Christ giving. So thanksmas and Christ giving. So how can we become more ch charitable? And then what are the features of that aspect? Well, the features that we've done for the last three years is that we've saved some money, not a lot, but a little bit of money and given to each child, each family unit. And then that family unit, uh, and it's not a lot, it's just enough, okay? Just enough where it's, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks that they can then take and either multiply or find the right place for it, you know? How does God answer prayers? He answers it through people. So we ask them to be open. We ask them to do an empowering question. How can they be the answer to God's prayer, or to somebody's prayer today, to be led to where they can do with it? Maybe they can just take and go out and make cookies for a couple hundred bucks by dough and then sell those and then get more cookies and actually multiply it. It doesn't matter. It's up to them to do it. But the whole family has a great experience. So the tradition is Christ giving. 
than the feature. Uh, we, we're going to name it. We haven't named it. I'm going to propose that we name it Ripples because it's the same as if you dropped a ro rock in the pond. That check is a rock in the pond and it creates ripples out there. We don't know where it goes or who it affects. But listen to what I'm saying. Traditions build roots. Take the time, whether in your family and in your business, if you're a business person, take the time to identify traditions, name those traditions so you can put a handle on them and then start living them. And then you'll develop your own features around that. And this will pull them together forever. Great family traditions, great business traditions are the roots of self-esteem. That sense of belonging that we all desire. And it's that part of us that makes us us. It's that part of you that makes you you. And it ends up being that when we start doing this, everything, these things that we do in the present are embedded by those things we did in the past and our future also has our past embedded in it. It brings it all together. Have a meaningful and wonderful time of year. I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye-bye.